All right, so um, obviously we're not doing a banquet this year, so we're going to do a lot of those award things here. And I know you probably saw that in the program. You've seen the emails. So those people are receiving letters. Let me read those names. When I read your name, please stand just where you are. We're not going to shake hands and do all that stuff. We do have your letter packets in the office. We'll give you those like tomorrow or the next day. We'll get them to you. So these people, and just stand and remain standing until we get to the end. Caitlin Anderson, Alistair Burns Hoyt, Olivia Boonside, Sierra Boyd, Logan Bristow, Tania Brown, Will Calhoun, Tess Colbett, Jackson Deerdorf, Kate DeMint, Lydia Dutcher, Hunter Fick, Ethan Fritz, Josh Gambier, Abigail Brickman, Quinlan Hall, Kaylee Hansen, Amelia Hart, Zoe Isom, Henry Kloster, Joseph McDonald, Victoria Major, uh, Victoria, Tori McDonald Kershaw, Colin McKinney, Kate Moffat, Alexis Morris, Abby Miller, uh, Daniel Lovodesky, uh, Trip Palmer, Larissa Piker, Ga Gael Salas, Nolan Shackelford, Nick Speckman, Nathan Staggs, Elaine Strauss, Alex Taylor, Naren Timms, Ella Vogt, Kyson Wingfield, Abigail West, and Cameron Yates. Give it up! <laughs> Next thing up, this year, and I don't have these, these uh, plaques out here, but the good stuff's in there, so we'll take a look at those later. But certainly want to say a huge thank you to our outgoing senior drum majors, one of which, Tier, never got to conduct in front of the crowd at home. And I feel really badly about that. But still appreciate it because they've both been great leaders, and that's Amelia Hart and Tess Colton. Would you guys stand and be with us? Thank you, guys. drum majors for the next year and that will be Zoe Isom will be junior she's returning and she hasn't got to conduct any this will be a whole next year is going to be a whole learning year new whole new year oh my goodness and Alexis Morris and Abby West <laughs> to our all state band members those folks who through all of this stuff they still went to their lessons maybe virtually but they went to their lessons they got the help they needed, and they auditioned amongst hundreds and hundreds of auditioners across the state, and they were still selected to be part of the All-State Band, and they did all of their stuff virtually just like we were doing, created the recordings, submitted them, and then they had a virtual concert with them as well. And so we want to say a huge thank you and congratulations to Tess Goldvet and Elena Strauss. Come on up. Again, new rookie parents coming in. The Band Aids Boost Organization is usually incredibly active. One of the most active booster clubs in Shawnee Mission West and very highly respected for all the things that we do. Um, this year we didn't do much, but neither did anybody else. But this lady right here kept calling and, and emailing and texting going, anything I need to do? Anything we can do? What's going on? What do we need to do? Oh my gosh, what? And before the pandemic hit, she's the one that organized and put together our Viking Village Craft Fair for the first time, which is a huge undertaking. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Incredible leader, wonderful person to deal with, keeps me on the straight and narrow, which is not easy, but wonderful, and her name goes on the plaque as a former president of, of the Band Aids organization, and she promised me she'd still be around next year to help us out as we get restarted and reconnected. So parents that are in here, we're gonna need your help. Not only is it a London year, but we've got to get Viking Village back up and running and so many other things. And again, it's not about, the, this organization is not about the two of us. It's truly about all of you assisting and helping these guys reach their goals. And she's been tremendous at helping, and she'll continue to help us out with that, but we need you in there as well. So, Emily, thank you. Thank you for everything. You're awesome. Give it up. And we do have a couple of awards that we uh, give annually for uh, all kinds of outs just outstanding leadership and outstanding uh, members of our group. 
And of course, when it comes to these, you know, these are always tough choices. We always have so many amazing children and uh, and young ladies and young men. It's uh, but you know we do kind of we have some of these that we do give each year. And, and one that we're going to talk about now is called the Gilmore Award. Um, John Philip Sousa is is regarded as the March King. He's often referred to as the March King and the bandmaster who defined a standard of excellence for concert bands in America. But Sousa himself regarded Patrick Gilmore as what he called the father of the American band. Gilmore was a gifted coordinatist. Uh, he immigrated to Boston in 1849 and just brought all kinds of ideas from Europe as far that it really had a lot of influence on the development of band music in America. And with his new ideas, and he had a particular penchant for showmanship, he soon redefined the course of American band music. Uh, Sousa's success hinged on the work of Patrick Gilmore and by the time Gilmore died in 1892, he's widely regarded as one of the most popular musicians in the U.S. Uh, and so this award, the Gilmore Award, is uh, one that is in recognition just about standing contributions to the, uh, to the band program. And so the recipient of this year's Patrick S. Gilmore Band Award is Tess Colton. So there, her name will go up on a plaque that lives in the main room entryway. And then the last one we're going to give for right now, oh, there'll be another one with jazz bands later, but the next one, and Mr. Ruby kind of talked about it a little bit, uh, that John Phil Sousa is known and regarded as the father of modern American concert band. A great musician. He really established so many things that we do. I mean, this band and this setup, this instrumentation was his concept. Um, the modern concert band came from what Sousa did, and his outstanding musicianship led him to try new, new things and different things. Um, he was a cornetist by trade, but you know, the solos and just, I mean, so many things that Sousa brain, had a brainstorm on, and it became what we do today. But his musicianship reigned supreme. When he toured the world, I mean, people would, they continued clapping, and, and he'd give six and seven encores because of the musicianship he instilled in the band. So the Sousa Award is a national award given all across the country, and we've been doing this here, goodness, I think since the school opened. And so this person's name will go on the plaque again that lives in the entry hallway of the band. They'll get a uh, little plaque to go with them, but it's just with great pride that I get to recognize this person for everything they have done, everything they have practiced for, everything they've worked for to be an outstanding musician. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Miss Elena Strauss.